Well, good morning again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society. And uh, we're going to continue with this series of uh, cases that I wanted to show you on class three correction by taking out the lower six year molars. And uh, we can do this on young kids. Uh, and I've got some young ones and some older people. And we have several of them. We've done a, a bunch of these cases over the years. And we've, I find that people are reluctant to uh, do this. However, this makes the class, class three correction uh, less of a problem by far and certainly more economical. And this works out good. I don't have any, uh, you know, really the double blind studies or anything. I don't know anybody that will be able to do that, but this is a good way to do much of your class three cases. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and show you several, uh, several of these. So this uh, young lady we'll be working with today is a real nice young lady. And this is kind of the beginning and the end. And look. Look like I've got a little more gumminess to the smile here, but I think the picture's a little better. But uh, let's go on to the uh, models. And uh, here we have a class three relationship between the models. She's lost a deciduous tooth up on the uh, upper left here. And so this is the tooth that uh, we would recommend removing and you send them back to your uh, patient that, or your dental uh, dentist that's referring to you and just have them do it. Make sure they understand what you're doing before you do that. Now, some of them uh, won't actually take the six-year mold. You'll have to get somebody else to take them out. But you can see the upper arch is slightly smaller than the lower where it's in a cross body in both areas like this right here and we'll continue uh, showing that point. I've got the x-rays kind of lined up so you can uh, watch these teeth move and uh, we'll show you that each time. Now here are, <coughs> excuse me, just a minute, uh, the full x-rays, this is number one and was started back in 1931 of 87. And we took these six year molars out, or I didn't, but some their patients, uh, Dennis did. Now we make darn sure you've got the wisdom teeth. And they're about down there and growing like that. So here we get them back again and, and then uh, a little bit later on down the line. This is 88, that was 87, and we still recommended uh, doing it that way. So uh, now the parents and the people decide to do it, they go in and have these removed, and you can see we've got this stuff on the mouth, or in the mouth, going, and you can close a space like that and half the time it takes, if you wait a month or two to cut, to start this, or if you make longer than that, it takes a lot longer to pull that tooth through a knife edge bone structure in there. This thing starts closing at the day you take the teeth out. So we like to start the case the day you take the teeth out too. So uh, we're gonna come back over here now this has already moved about half the ray uh, over here on the, the left side of your screen. And you can see the wisdom tooth uh, is this second molar is pulling away from the wisdom tooth. But it will ease along and come forward with it. And you can see uh, where your, your tooth is over on the this side of the mouth, you see the tooth is, is this far. And then as you come along, you see the 
a wisdom tooth is almost under the 12 year molar by the time this happens. And then as you close this up, this tooth is here, and now this tooth has a big gap, but it'll close in there, and over a period of time, it just closes all the way up in here. And this will do the same thing on the other side of the mouth. Uh, there's there's a, a wonderful thing about this that you don't have to finish this tooth. And it can come in and you can straighten it up easily by the tip in the tooth like we've shown in many videos. And so uh, when it is that ever this gets up in the mouth and drifts up here, if it's tilted over, we can tip it back even if it's four or five years later after you're through with it. And you're <clears throat> not having to do the surgery on these cases. Because many times we get the front part of this back to class one or a bit pretty close to it, and we start pulling uh, these teeth. In other words, we'll pull the upper teeth back further by wearing class three elastics, and that'll give you more space in the room for the no tongue to go into. Now let's take a look at uh, the other uh, x-ray. Uh, this is the last uh, one that I've got. It's, I think it was seven x-rays we took on this case right here. And this tooth will move on up in here. And you can come back and finish that after maybe, maybe two, three years later. You can go back and set that tooth up in here and you can have it fitting right in this area right there. The same thing over on the other other side of the mouth. Now, this is, uh, well, that's number eight right here. And this one was taken, she's age 13 and nine. And over here, it's uh, apparently age I've got age 17. That's, uh, that's apparently not correct. Uh, here is 87, but we've got the teeth up underneath there. And this is a uh, cephalometric through there. Okay, and this works out and, and this will, uh, you can finish these cases and they, we've not had a single one of them relapse. Uh, and I've had surgical class threes relapse, and you have to come back and uh, do this over again. So here we are, 1991. I think this is where we've pretty well finished the case, but the uh, wisdom tooth on the bottom hasn't come in yet. And well, I say that I see one back here. Uh, and I guess this is the wisdom tooth is coming up in here. Uh, so the case is finished out like this. This is 91, I think it started back in the 80s. And this will hold up like this. We put them in retention and things and watch it closely. But it's pretty well lined up. We got a little midline deviation. The cuspids look okay, though, and uh, I want to recommend this type of, of surgery. Uh, this Well, it is it's a non-surgical class three correction, even though you go in and you remove the teeth, then you wait longer to straighten the wisdom teeth out on some of the younger uh, people like this. So I want to show you the case. This is where she started and where we finished in 91 and this was 87 so it's just four years uh, later and that takes care of uh, well, this case. And we're going to show you uh, several more of these class 3 cases and I hope you uh, try this. Uh, we've been doing this for you know, 25 or I don't know, maybe more 
years of that that we've done this. It has very few dentists uh, do this, but it can be done, and, and I want to stand behind it, and I will hope they get some uh, research done that will back it up also. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join our little group here and subscribe to our uh, channel. We'd love to have you if you're not already a member. So I'm going to sign off here and we'll close it off. Thank you for watching now.